Greetings and well met, <clears throat> family, friends, and what few subscribers I have left. It is a warm August day here in Cheyenne, and I thought I would go over the three trailers that I use to pull behind my bike. Uh, I've had some interest in one, and I have a, well, not a brand new, but a rebuild. So, first, let's look at the burly... Nomad, pardon the sun. Uh, got this one about three years ago after my one that I bought in 2007 was totaled in an accident. Yeah, pretty sad too. Is the new one better than the old one? No. Uh, 16 inch wheels. I have a luggage rack and there's a place for a flag and uh, tail light. And then on the luggage rack I have on either side mounts for side lights. Now, you don't see the tow arm because that's on another trailer. And we'll talk about that in a minute. So, what do I use this for? This is for lightweight hauling, um, quick runs to the grocery store. Yes, she will haul four 12 packs of Pepsi, but it is a real, it is a seriously heavy load. Next is my trailer that I built on the trailer kit from the company called Wyke out of Canada. And there will be a uh, link in the description to the place where you can buy the trailer kit. Um, as you can see on back, I have places for flags, lights, and then I have lights on either side. It's a 44 gallon tub. And this is what I use when I have to haul recycle, to the recycle center and or buy lots of groceries. Uh, it's a very good trailer, has 20 inch wheels. Again, the trailer, the tow arm, is on the next and final trailer, and that is this one. And this is there's the, the tow arm, and it can go on either it is usable on all three trailers. I made it that way on purpose. So, the basis of this trailer is a two foot by four foot piece of three quarter inch plywood that used to have a big orange box on top of it. If you followed my channel, you will have seen my big orange fishing trailer in a prior video. As you can see, I have flags. There are lights on the back or places for lights, and then I have lights on either side. Now, some of you may be asking, what's the PVC for? Well, when I go fishing, gotta carry my fishing poles somehow, and that thus the PVC rack. So the tote is a 35 gallon Rubbermaid uh, Roughneck, I believe is what it's called. It's hinged, it latches, and it's lockable. It's a little different though, it's wider and not as tall, so I'll have to go over my fishing gear tackle and see what I can, see what I really need and what I don't need. Interesting thing is, I was able to mount a cooler permanently on the front of the plywood, front of the trailer. So now, if I don't need a whole lot of stuff, when I go grocery shopping, I can take this trailer with me and um, yeah so oh and I can take the PVC uh, rack off if I need to the next thing I may do to this trailer is cut some of the plywood out from underneath the tub to lighten and skeletonize the uh, trailer but I haven't decided I haven't decided yet Later today, I am going to be giving it a test ride, and I might take you guys with me. So we'll just have to wait and see. So here's a side view of my orange trailer. I have added uh, reflective tape on the side and back. And there's the new tail lights, because I lost one of my good Blackburn tail lights. These are Saigo lights, 50 lumen, uh, not bad, and they're rechargeable. So, 
here's the back I have four strips of red reflective tape and yes that is a mud flap girl for those of you truckers out there have know what I'm talking about um, yeah I'm just something silly that I wanted to do um, there's the back of the new trailer and there's the flags a pirate flag and the other the red ones a pirate flag too but it says keep to the code um, if you've seen uh, any of the Pirate of the Caribbean movies you will know what I'm talking about so yeah I have three trailers depending on what I need to do let me take you back and show you there's my bike nothing new on it it's working great I put some serious miles on it in this month well my workbench which I need to clean and there is the lid for the big orange trailer still has the aluminum and the hinges on it so one of these days I'll strip it down and there is the big what's left of the box that used to be on the big or that used to be on the trailer I would use when I went fishing it was just always too big too bulky I always thought about rebuilding it but I like the idea of the rubber made tote so oh and there's my barn built that a few years ago holding up to the weather just fine backyard that uh, block back there if you can see it is my tomahawk target yes I throw tomahawks so other than that I just wanted to do a quick update let everybody know I'm alive and well and um, take care and I do have more videos planned in the works have a good safe Labor Day weekend and Labor Day and I will see you when I see you. Take care, stay safe, stay frosty.